Well, and welcome back to episode 36 of Rule the Waves, Germany, super large, starting 1890. We are now in a war against Great Britain. It's the third month of the war. The first one was that big battle that ended with a night fight and half the British battle line sent to the bottom of the North Sea. The second month was an inconclusive convoy defense mission. Yeah, um, I was looking at the division editor and my battle line is doing fine. I have one Altorf uh, out for repairs one month and I have one of these 12 insures out for one month. So next month, unless more get damaged, of course, then I will be fine. The Baltic fleet is fine, <laughs> but the lead ship is down to 18 knots. So, uh, yeah, it's filler. I also looked at upgrading them before, but it's, it's not doable. It's not worth it. Engine replacement is too expensive and they can never reach a decent speed. So, 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 so. Um, the battle cruisers are not doing so great. This division has one ship not in repair. This one has one ship not in repair and two repairing. And the second Kemperbad is also on the bottom of the North Sea, unfortunately. So, uh, could be I have to rearrange this. Uh, a bit, but then I only have two battle cruiser squadrons. So. Mm, I could move one of these up here. I don't want to change it too much or everything breaks down. Then I sort of have one ship left over, which is also not cool. So, I don't know. Could move one ship here, then we have Tal and the Schwarzwald, and then we could have one Ulrich and one Schwarzwald. No, I think we'll just have to let them repair. Um, also, some of the torpedo divisions, and for the fleet destroyer divisions, for that matter, were pretty well devastated. So, I will have to take a look at those as well. Okay. So I uh, rearranged some stuff, and I even gave, uh, this one was on independent, and was, this one was empty, so now it has a few destroyers that can support this cruiser reserve, since it keeps popping up into the game. <laughs> we are now down to four, and one with five, so we have lost quite a few destroyers. These are the mine sweeper destroyers. They are not really worth anything in combat. <clears throat> we are building quite a few new big ones. But I really think that these ships, they won't be ready for several years yet. So if we do this, we are actually... Hmm. Not in the minus, and then we can do something a lot more useful. Good. Build some more destroyers. And I think we will build even more destroyers. <coughs> now we have, I think, about 30 new destroyers. 36 new destroyers. It would take a while, but uh, we will need them to replenish losses after the war anyway. So in about a year we can resume construction on the battleships. I don't think there is much else we need to do. The British, for some reason, have ships in uh, the South American East Coast, Indian Ocean, that makes some sense. 
like a single cruiser or something here. One cruiser, yes. Uh, yeah, something here. I've boosted my uh, Intel to high, but it would take a while to work up. <laughs> okay. Uh, I suppose we could always fight the battle just for the lull. Normally I would uh, definitely push uh, auto, but uh, no on ship side. Uh, oh no! Dusk is in 15 minutes, so... And go squad max, which is 15 now. Oh no, he's hunting me. We get away. <clears throat> this is one of my colonial cruisers. It has uh, no armor, practically no guns. It would sink almost immediately. Oh, I guess that raider got away. Zero, zero. The battle was a draw. And that's it, really. And that worked to our advantage, I would say. The, the British are repairing, of course. But they are being blockaded. And now we have more minesweepers. Oh, wow. Yeah, I guess that one battle really uh, made Parliament uh, jittery. So, let me have sounded out about a negotiated peace with us gaining disputed border areas and some of their colonies. Yes. Uh, don't really want this to turn into a long war. Uh, but uh, we could definitely keep fighting, I think. I had a look at all their battle cruisers, so... We are not, we don't have a huge advantage. They have the advantage in speed, definitely, and number of battle cruisers. But I think many of my battleships, especially, are way tougher than their ships. So I would not completely rule it off, but we could try this middle option. So if they want to give us a lot of stuff, that would be nice. But I would like to have Ireland if I could. If not, I think we just need to pick a fight. Oh, but I do want to continue fighting as well. Oh my god, this is difficult. I mean, things could go south. We could end up having France join, then we would easily be blockaded. Uh, but we did get a huge victory that we could sort of leverage to. Uh, gain more colonies let's try this one we should not let them off cheaply we should press for hard terms no common ground okay advanced superheater uh yes that's a good idea now we're at war we can ship to the rebels uh, corsica yeah it's fine until it's fine we lose a sub they lose a q ship there's another sub. We think a sub. Our sub hits a mine. A <laughs> destroyer hits a mine. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Great Britain is down to 13 <coughs> subs and 6 building. They have quite a few naval aircraft, but it is this is 1923. Mm. They don't have any carriers, so unless we uh, are fighting next to the coast, I don't see them. Uh... Mm. Yeah, okay. So finan finances are back up because now we only have a couple of battle cruisers repairing. Is that it? Status. And one destroyer. Okay, fine. 
Now, if you look at the division editor now, this has three operational, this has two operational. I'm tempted to reassign some of these. Should I move one up here, two up here, and just reassign the last one to one of my battle squadrons? Uh, yeah, I think I will. This can go join this group. Um, this one can go here. I think that would work better because now even if they take some damage, they will not be so weak as to be one or two ships. And then that looks like the battle generator does strange things but now we have no battle cruiser division b so now we can just uh, clear ships from this division yes we can assign them to battle cruisers instead Still down a few. These as well. Clear ships from division. Add the ship. Looks like I have no torpedo on battle cruiser h1 no no it doesn't have a torpedo division okay um a lot of back and forth here. let's just keep it like that it's uh it's not that important um save Should I build docks for the future? Yeah, let's do that. And let's resume construction on something here. That's good. No, actually, uh, we can. We can take uh, a little beating there. But let's look at those minesweepers. Are they now actually functioning as my yes, okay, yeah. So it was the obsolete part, but um that was causing problems. And this one has poor skills and then it loses minesweeping. Okay, yeah, good to know. I wonder if there's a way to get more than one minesweeping. Um, and I wonder how this compares. Can it be big ships that have better mine sweeping? The manual doesn't say, and I haven't. Not that into subs, mines, raid warfare, not, not super interesting. I'm aware of it. And I try to sort of play along and a bit of role playing, if we can call it that. Um, do we have any good officers for Admiral Brilliant Poor Admin? Admiral Brilliant. 
Why aren't some of these brilliant admirals in charge? This one could be in charge of Northern Europe. A low average, low average, Admiral von Harpe. Well, I mean, he could be a really skilled operator, but uh, yeah. Well, I this officer system, it's not, uh, it's not ideal. If I replace him, it was, it's gonna cost me like four prestige, and that's two mega victories uh, in terms of prestige in. There is no, there is no balance between your ability to gain prestige and your what you can use it for. You can also use sort of one prestige for a key event, lose one prestige for a key event, and then you try to move a captain, and no, that costs you four prestige. And yeah, you can be a total fanboy and see this is fine, this is realistic, but uh, it's not super. This part of the game is not super well designed. It's added on, late, packed on, and it's... I appreciate the ability to use prestige for more things, but there should be a balance. If you win by 100,000 victory points in a single battle, you get two prestige. And then you can use four just to reassign a single commander. Why? Why? I mean, if you replace the well-connected... Admiral in charge of a, an entire zone, then maybe a few points. But if you reassign a simple commander in charge of a destroyer squadron or a light cruiser, then you <coughs> there might be a chance that you lose one prestige. If you know what I'm saying. No, I'm not ideal. I don't think it ever will ever change. It's just it's just the way it is and. Sometimes it annoys me, but for the most part, it just makes me not want to uh, bother with the officers at, uh, at all. Um, yes, there is not much else we can do. We can save. Turn. Cruiser battle. Okay. It's a good thing we have some battle cruisers back in action. Oh, it's a small cruiser battle, not a battle cruiser battle. So the British declines a cruiser action in the North Sea in the fourth month of war. Wow. <coughs> then another. Will they decline that as well? No. That could mean it's a bigger battle, not involving the small cruisers, but actual battle cruisers. Yeah, sometimes this um, this goes and hides behind the game, and the only way to bring it up is sort of click this uh, tab here until it appears. Now you can't see the tab, but you have to click the, in the taskbar. You have to click ruler waves in the taskbar, and then this pops up. Yeah. So okay, so we have one battle cruiser squadron. And three light cruiser squadrons. And we have these guys. They always want to join. They're like, yeah, they were about to be dismantled, uh, but they're still around. Uh, not refitted or anything. They just got called up for this war that it's, it's actually way out of their league. Uh, Admiral von Harpe fails command check. Yeah, I think he's useless. Uh. <clears throat> I was kind of curious what this skill was. Maybe it will be revealed after this battle. But okay, so we have a scouting force here. That's not uh, actually. Okay, we have some batteries. We have our three airship bases with the 12. We have 16 uh, airships each. They are unready, so. Presumably they will ready and fly some scouting missions. Weather is fine. It's a 
Bristle, so visibility is relatively short. Dusk in 13 hours. Yeah, this is it. Was this in April? May? No, it's starting to be long days in the north here. So let's just have a quick look at the fleet. We have some destroyers here that for some reason is attached to the battle cruiser, so they want to turn around and go back. Okay, so we have some destroyers in front here that's deployed here but are attached here so they have every opportunity to burn out their engines racing back. Ah. Do we have any light cruisers back here? No. And we don't have control so we might as well just run until we maybe see someone. A non-ship sighted, okay. Okay, they are running at a stately pace, so don't be too worried. But, uh, are they in some sort of scout role? No, they can be independent because they don't have the speed to... to actually do anything. Where are my light cruisers? There they are. What kind of orders do these have? This is screening the battle cruisers. It's not so useful at the moment. Let's set them for support. What is this guy doing? It's also screening and support. Harta. It's way faster, but uh, also screening that support instead. I'm running for five. Now let's get the steam up. And I think we can maybe while we wait see if we can do something interesting another destroyer hit how fast are these these are 30 knot ships so Where are can't see you one two there you are no we can try to use the destroyers and the cruisers here to sort of get in a hit slow someone down maybe some real cruisers will appear eventually. Okay, yeah, we have some battle cruisers here. So definitely. Let's not uh, get entirely too cocky here.
Yeah, I think uh, I think that's enough uh, destroyer of them for now. Get these guys sorted out before we turn back into the back room. So Nymphy. No. Lee back, okay. Didn't see it clearly. Just link this together. Stuff, huh? Is hit Max. Okay, so someone can keep up, but we'll keep it at 26. This will fall behind. Let's do another run with the destroyer since they So why are these not doing core things? Not sure. No idea actually. Port side swivel now. Refitted them, so that should make them somewhat more useful. Lower belt edge hit. No idea what that means.
They are turning, so I don't think I would be hitting anything, but now they are straightening out. What? Uh, why? Oh, ports, yeah. <laughs> uh, these are, of course, uh, light cruisers uh, with one swivel on each side, not uh, two swivels. ship is this? Deezer. Light damage, okay. They have speed set to 28, but for some reason they are only going about 20 knots. Again, I don't understand what that AI is doing sometimes. Flora hit. We press home this destroyer attack because they decided to turn into the ray here. But I will cut this light cruiser division in here. And these guys can keep fighting here. I could take a torpedo hit, but I think I will just live with it. But why are you guys not turning? You have very good vectors here. You're not really... These are... Okay, yay! But now I think we have pressed this attack for long enough. They are really hurting a bit. So let's recall everyone. minutes what happened to silence it looks fine but it has dropped to speed 19, I'm not sure, maybe some trouble with commands or I don't know.
Marsh. Oh, forget that. Too many destroyers. These guys have done okay. Done okay for being 20 year old warships that haven't gotten any refits. Taking a bit of damage, but that's fine. And all my torpedoes on that side, I'm afraid. Oh, we'll turn in. That I... Ariadna, is that me? That is me. I think one of those sneaky little... Uh, Is not good for Ariadna. That will be detached. It's very dangerous to play with destroyers. These need to go out. He's sinking anyway. How bad is this? Uh, oh. 116. I think this one has TPS 1, so it might. Yeah, it's very modern. It has TPS 1, so it could theoretically make it. Let's get back into the fight. Not enough fleeing. Those can continue to go away. And I hit someone. Argonaut, yes. Do a final push, shall we?
How is this one doing? Oh, flooding is down. It could theoretically make it. The weather is calm, so there's also an advantage. I don't know, yeah. These are out of torpedoes. Score twenty eight. Have a battle cruiser with heavy damage that's still moving. Have an Argonaut. I think that's a pretty good one. Yeah, that's the 31, not 14 inch. The more Argonauts we can put to the bottom of the sea, the better. Now they do another little destroyer charge. So let's uh, avoid that. I think it's fine to have the light cruisers here. Okay. These are TPS-1 light cruisers, so uh, more of those pesky little destroyers that I can sink, the better. Let's not get too cocky. Surely they are running out of um, torpedoes by that one. I think my battle cruisers have big guns. some torpedoes in the water. make it so much easier to shoot. Wiesbaden! Stuttgart! Okay, I don't think we can do much more. something in there. Argonaut managed to get away from every torpedo. Hush! Let's see if my last light cruisers can deal with it. Rebuild. Torpedoes. Then we will turn these guys back around because they have torpedoes on the other side.
this one are cool. Expanded port that's left, so starboard is just just out of um, range. going a bit too fast so it's of course hard to put torpedoes into it yeah. turn together right now Medium damage on fire. Let's not make a loss of what can be a victory here. Why is that no solution? I don't know. These guys are all out of torpedoes. Port broadside, it's loaded, but it just won't um, Definitely going fast. Flora is hit by a computer. Okay. Nice.
magazine hit to a even more light cruisers. Where did these guys come from? You don't normally chase down battle cruisers with light cruisers, but doesn't appear that it's shooting back. Is he out of ammo? Has he lost all <coughs> out of arc? It's a swivel mount for God's sake. They refuse to keep up. I don't know why. They have the same <coughs> maximum speed, but they were lagging behind before as well. Let's not overthink that. Let's just keep going. Suddenly fell out of formation, took a heavy hit. Can't fire torpedoes now? No, out of work. Now we have firing arms. Come on, you bastards. Duh. Two torpedoes. Okay, it probably has uh, it's heavy damage and it's on fire. Okay, and where are my battle cruisers? Here, oh, not capsule. So is it dead in the water now? Sinking on fire, okay. That's useful. These guys have a few torpedoes left. Huh? Let's see.
peace is Christ now. Let's bring everyone together. <coughs> Zeppelin. <coughs> Too bad. Okay, so now we've dealt this uh, battle cruiser force uh, a bear low, a mere even torpedo uh, destroyer. No, it's an entire line of battle cruisers are down so now he's down 11 cap ships plus, plus these fires of 16 and my battle cruisers aren't even damaged we have a bunch of heavily damaged destroyers but we only actually lost five destroyers he also lost a cruiser of which he has very few Five destroyers. So I had expected more destroyer losses, but I guess these destroyers are 1100 to 1500 tons, so they take a little bit more to sink. To take a heavy hit or a torpedo or many small caliber strikes to actually sink them. Not like those three to 500 ton destroyers. There's nothing to view on the map because we got everyone. Yeah, most of them got sunk. This is a refit. 14 inch, but poorly armored. 14 inch, much better armored. But old, so probably relatively slow. 14 inch, that's a good one, but it's gone. 14 inch, gone. So an entire squadron of 14 inch battle cruisers to the bottom of the, of the sea for the price of five destroyers. Again, I think it was a, you know, my gunfire was more accurate. You could see that from the dog. I hit more than he does. Uh, but then there was a mass of torpedoes, not only from the destroyers, but actually the light cruisers did some good, good work as well. And I think they provided useful, uh, useful fire against destroyers as well. Um, 
Eruption has uh, medium damage. What about the one that got torpedoed? It's only light damage. Okay, so the TPS really did stop that damage from becoming bad. But it's a glorious victory. Really glorious. It's not as big a score. That was over 70,000 points for the first battle. But the, percent, the difference in accomplishment is uh, quite staggering here. So, okay. The Battle of Bergen, sure. Let me get three destroyers. And some more mine destroyers, rebellion in Ireland. Can I claim a territory that's in rebellion? Will I inherit the rebellion or is it impossible to even get it? Think a sub, think a sub. Yeah. Destroyer. Harriya was hit by a mine. Japan still losing more to the Russians. It's none of our concern, really. Save. How much do we have in repair? We have... Arta Raffen. It was already medium damage, wasn't it? Well, someone hit the mine. So we have three light cruiser and a cruiser. Two more light cruisers and some destroyers in for repairs. But that means our entire battle force and our entire battle cruiser force is uh, back to being what? Okay. So now we are being blockaded. Yeah, because they have brought back more or less no. That's weird. Uh, I have more ships than they do. Well, at least on this graph. Let's see. Germany, 575. The Brits, but blockades. Okay, blockade strength is different. Probably something to do with the trade protection things. Uh, could that be it? Uh, how many on mine sweep for um, ASV duties? Yeah, I think that's the reason. Yeah, ships repairing, working up. Uh, these need to be on. Trade protection, I don't want them showing up in battles. So. With their one torpedo. Two torpedo and one three inch gun. Why is this in the Baltic? Is it doing some ASV work in the Baltic or? No, it's all about uh, nothing going on in the Baltic. Station. These aren't active. Ah, really don't want them showing up. Let's put them on trade protection. They're being blockaded anyway, so. That was just weird. But I think this episode has reached the natural end, so see you in the next one.